Speak Student. Leadership in class, alashma. When we hear the word leadership in conjunction with anything school related, we tend to think of that one kid in gym who regularly confused your school's low budget gymnasium with an NBA court. The sound of dribbling still gives us panic attacks, but leadership in the classroom, well, that's a lot less terrifying. And we know what you're thinking. You'd probably rather be the psychopathic pseudo-professional b-baller than the dreaded teacher's pet. But guess what? Leadership in class doesn't mean being just the teacher's pet. What it does mean is helping others when they're having trouble in class. Like, why is that bad to do? I don't understand. It means leading by example. And what does that mean? Well, it means listening to your teacher when she tells you to stop talking and wonders for the 10,000th time why she thought teaching would be a fun career. Only 40 more years until retirement, teach. Yeah, good luck, and maybe your pension will still be there. It also means volunteering the right answer when everyone else in class is desperately avoiding eye contact. And it means knowing how to communicate with your peers and knowing how to manage conflict when it arises. Like uh, that time this happened. Good communication is key. Otherwise, the weird kid who thinks he's a dog might eat your homework again. It's cute the first time, not so much the 17th. But maybe that still sounds pretty uh, pathetic to you. After all, it's not like the way you act in a high school classroom will have any effect on your future, right? Eh, not so fast. Let's fast forward 15 years and take a look at two of your classmates, Johnny and Tommy. Johnny was always lounging in the back row, cracking jokes and disrupting class. But hey, big deal. Everyone loved Johnny. He was decidedly cool. Something Tommy was not. Tommy worked hard in group projects, helped his classmates when they struggled, knew how to communicate what needed to get done, and knew how to work well with his peers. And he only brought the teacher cookies one time, and it was her birthday. Anyway, fast forwarding time. See this rich and handsome businessman and this unemployed lazy schmuck? Yeah. Now which one do you think ended up being Tommy and which one ended up being Johnny? Yep, believe it or not, being a class leader typically leads to better school results, which in turn leads to better opportunities, jobs, and a heftier paycheck every month. Remember, the cool kids in high school end up taking tickets in the movie theater for their summer job that lasts 43 years. No promises about the whole handsome bit, though. Well, we can't guarantee that. So while Tommy is vacationing on his private island with his family after winning a Nobel Prize and Academy Award and being re-elected as president of the U.S., well, Johnny is still taking theater tickets. But hey, Johnny's winning plenty of awards, too. Takes a special man to win Toilet Scrubber of the Month. Keep them coming, cool Johnny. You're pretty cool.